Hi, pre-calc. Pre I'm getting a lot of glare on this chalkboard. I'm not sure what to do about it. I'll try to aim in the spots where there's least glare. So, kind of lower. So I'm going to try to avoid the upper part of the board. So I hope this shows up and is helpful. I'm looking at person number six who went around in one revolution in 6.75 seconds and the radius was seven and five six feet and I'm looking for the angular velocity and the linear velocity. So I'll start here and I'll change that 7.56 to a decimal. Five divided by six was 0.83. So that's the number I'm going to use. I'm going to find radians per second, and I need a starting point, and the place that I'm going to start on our trig whip number six is I'm going to take a this information that says that person number six traveled one revolution in 6.75 seconds. So every person that you calculate the velocity for, angular as well as linear, you need a starting point. This information, once around, one revolution, took 6.75 seconds. That is an angular velocity, but I asked you to give it to me in radians per second. So to get to radians per second, I am going to remove revolutions by putting it in the denominator and I'm going to add radians. One revolution is two pi radians. So revolutions disappears and I end up with two pi over 6.75 and now I'm in radians per second. And when I tap 2 pi divided by 6.75, I'm going to check that. On, let's see, do you see where pi is on here? The pi value is right here. It's a second function. It's above the arrow up button there. So we have... 2 pi divide 6.75 and that gives me 0 0.93 0 0.93 radians per second so I hope the glare isn't too bad right there and you can see that so that's going to go up here probably in the glare 0.93 radians per second and I ask you to do this work on another sheet of paper and you can just put the answers on the chart now we're going to go to linear velocity from this answer we want miles per hour so I'm going to start at 0.93 radians per second. I'll deal with time first. I want seconds to hours. So we noted today that there was 3600 seconds in one hour. So now we're already in hours. Now we got to get to miles. I see no distance, no um, nothing like feet, no linear distance. So I'm going to replace radian with a radius because they're equivalent and the radius is 7.83 so I have 0 0.93 times 7.83 times 3600 and this is in feet so now I'm in feet per hour I want miles per hour so 5,280 feet over one mile feet will cancel out feet so what's left? I have all these numbers. 0 0.93, 0 0.93, 7 7.83, 3,600, and all that's divided by 5,280. So 
Let me tap that out. All right, almost five. It's four point nine six, and that's miles per hour. So almost five miles per hour going around. That's what person number six was traveling on the outside of that uh, of that path, the circular path. Four point nine six miles per hour. So. I need you to do that for everyone. So how many was it today? Nine? And the first person, person number zero, only has a angular velocity. They do not have a um, they do not have a linear velocity. And you can use the time the same as person number one for person number zero. All right, so I hope that helps you get your work done tonight. And if you would put this example in your comp book and then go ahead and use it in your work. You don't have to redo it. You can borrow my numbers for the chart. So you've got this number and this number to put in the chart for person number six. So you have the others to calculate. Not just your own, but everyone's. Person zero, which isn't many calculations, and one through, what do we have, nine? one through nine. All right, I look forward to seeing the miles per hour as we increase along our trig whip. All right, till tomorrow. Bye.